I listed it and I did something and I heard a cha-ching. It was probably, it might've been one minute. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin, we're in the Commonwealth cabin today and we had an okay day of sales, but you know, sometimes I'm happy even though the sales number isn't really high because of the particular items that sell, especially when we have an item that's been in the cabin for a long time and we wanna get rid of it, make a little bit more room. So I'm happy about those sales. Couple of great ROI sales as well. And of course I got my Ikea hat on. Thank you, Alyssa. We appreciate this gift you sent us yesterday in the video and you asked me to wear it during the video. So here you go. But of course I had to have my, my glasses on. So I don't know, I can see myself in the window. I feel a little awkward. What do you think? I don't know. I tell you what though, the next time it rains, I'm definite like when it's garage sale season and it's raining, I'm taking this thing out for sure. But in the meantime, I have my hat on and I have just enough time today, I think. Zero homeschool hustler store sales, nine sales out of the Commonwealth Picker store, which is, you know, six or eight less sales than we typically have in a day. So I'm going to knock out a question today, which I usually don't do in the middle of the week. Two of them, actually. I had a little bit of a, I guess, I guess not personal, but I had a question about me. And then I have a question about what to do with an as is item, something that was listed as is and somebody wanted to return. So I'm going to answer that today and I'm going to show you what's sold. It had some great ROI sales. Let's take a look. All right, technically this is a great ROI sale, but it's not a big sale. So I got this for free. You'll see it in the video, I think, not too long ago. And I sold it for seven bucks plus shipping. And you're like, oh my gosh, you got ripped off. Seven dollars plus shipping is all you got for Super Mario Wii? Well, here you go. There you go. That's why. <laughs> Look at that. It says, here we go. It doesn't have the game in it. No game, just a case. And I picked it up off the floor over at Rich the Storage Guy's place. And there were some other ones and they all had no games in them. And I'm like, you know what? I saw that one. I'm like, I bet it's got no game in it, but I'm going to take it anyways. And it's going to sell. So it, we had already made a deal when I found it. And I'm like, you're going to throw this in, right? And he says, yeah, sure. So seven bucks plus shipping on that. So you can do this with stuff. I would love for you guys to do, do us a favor so we can all learn here. I'm going to give you a couple here. Obviously, game cases like this. I've sold empty boxes, empty cases, empty all kinds of stuff that might surprise some new resellers out there. But you experienced resellers out there. Tell us what you've sold that's not complete. One time I did a uh, side of the road pickup, a little trash pickup, where I saw an old Nintendo NES box. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to wait and I'm going to get an NES and put it all together and I'm going to have all the parts. And it was like five months and I still hadn't had anything. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to sell the box. And I sold the box. can't remember what I sold it for. But I've sold boxes like old Atari boxes. I've sold all kinds of stuff. Apple iPhone boxes that are empty. Stuff like that. So give us one of those stories in the comments. Next item has been sitting up here. You've probably seen it. If you watch the Garage Sale channel, if you watch Commonwealth Picker, you, well, this video didn't get too many watches, which I was a little disappointed because I thought it was a cool video. I don't even think it got 10,000 views yet, but it was uh, Extreme Garage Sales, I think is what it was called. I'll put a picture up here. And it was pretty cool to say it was dark. It was absolutely dark. You talk about the early bird. And I still was beat to this thing. I mean, it was dark out there. We were in Columbia, South Carolina. And I picked these up at a sale, paid $1 for them. And it's maybe halfway through that video. And I recognized him immediately, thanks to Uncle Mark out there and Aunt Lori. You guys turned me on to this years ago. So I'll let you take a look. All right, there it is right here. You've probably seen it for a while. There we go. Two of those. Two of these. Hey, somebody asked me about these flare cards the other day. I don't sell these in my store. I had a case of them or two. I can't remember. I bought it at a sale. And I sell them off one pack at a time in my antique booth. I make better money doing it that way than I do selling them on eBay because they don't have tremendous value. All right, back to this story. Fiesta wear. And they're just napkin rings is all they are. And you can see it says Fiesta wear right there. And it's got a nice little color to it. And I saw them and I'm like, that's Fiesta wear. I had never seen like napkin rings, but you can just tell by the design. And I went and picked them up and it said a dollar on them. They were cheap at that sale. So I'm like, I'm going to pick those up. 
And I'm, I don't know, I just figured like 20 bucks plus shipping. But no, $40 plus shipping is what these things sell for. All right, next one's in the back, and I am happy for this sale for sure, because it's one of the hats that's been around the longest, well, maybe not the longest, but it's definitely in the top 10 as being around the longest. Should be in the back of this case right here. All right, it is, should be anyways. I might have to pull this down hard with one hand, you know. You gotta admire Lonnie and John and those guys, you know. I've been doing it for years. All right, here we go. Is that it? I know it's that one, but I didn't think it was a trucker hat. Uh, but it is in the back. That's probably it. I probably just don't remember being a trucker hat. Put that there. Right, here we go. Hey, meant to mention this the other day, and now that I'm back here, I see it. I put it on Instagram. Here's the pur purple ab roller. If you hear me talking about the purple ab roller, I used to... When we first started this channel, I sold three or four of these and turned a lot of people onto them. But I haven't mentioned it in a long time because I haven't found one. I mean, I have I said in my Instagram post, if I have sold one of these, I have sold a hundred of these. And I felt like for a while it was like me and the people I knew were finding them and selling them. <laughs> I had a couple uncles that were finding them and selling them. And there were so few out there. And we were getting incredible money. 50, 60, 80, 100 dollars sometimes, plus shipping on these. And the market's calmed down a little bit on them right now. I think they're down around 50 bucks plus shipping. But depends on the condition. Obviously, this was farm fresh. I found it on the side of the road at a sale. And so I wasn't even going to stop until I saw it. I'm like, hey, let's check that out. It wasn't a garage sale. It was a like a, I don't know, consignment-ish place. And I saw it driving by. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go back there and see how much it is. It's five bucks. Five bucks. You take the screws out. You clean it. Well, first you clean it. Then you take pictures of it. Then you take the screws out and fold it down flat and you can put it in something like this, like an envelope almost, and ship it. All right, I'm sorry for that story, but it was in the way, so I figured we'd talk about it. And I'd be careful. You got to learn how to ship those things. It's you Find the right box, but even if you don't, there's a way to ship them. But it's not easy. So, you know, if you're out there and you pick one up, don't yell at me when it's time to ship that thing. You got to get the specs right because you got to do calculated shipping on those. Next one is a lost and found item, and I think we'll be able to find it. Maybe a little dark for you. Tailor made. Top light. Is that it? 200 steel. It. That's it. This one sold for $12. It is just going to slide into an envelope. So that one right there, 12 bucks. You figure $3. It's going to be a little bit more now in shipping <laughs> because shipping costs went up. I did a video about that. Hey, I also have a video. Somebody asked me about, you know, what do you, how do you combat that? And what do you do? I did a video a long time ago about that. Maybe if I can remember the title, I'll link it here. So if you're new, you can go check it out. So TaylorMade, 12 bucks. So let's just say $5 in fees and shipping. That's close. Okay. Seven bucks right there is what you're going to make on this thing. So I suppose you got to pay for the envelope, but $7 profit on that one right there. Not too bad. That brings our total for the lost and found to $526 so far. The next one's right over here. And you saw it, I guess, on yesterday's video. You probably did anyways, because it was sitting right there. I listed this thing for, I thought, a pretty good price. It sold within five minutes. It was gone. I listed it and I did something and I heard a cha-ching. It was probably, it might have been one minute. I mean, it was really, really fast. And it's a great ROI item as well. It's not one into 40, but it's one into 24. And I just couldn't quite figure out, you know, I listed it above some sold comps. So I couldn't quite figure out why it went for so much. But whatever. I mean, it didn't go for so much. I mean, it was a pretty competitive price. But there were better options out there. Maybe sometimes when you do calculated shipping, sometimes your item is more appealing to somebody who's nearby. Now, I didn't check to see where it's going, but I want to sell items to people nearby. I don't want to sell items to people in California. Maybe I should rephrase that. I don't mind selling items to people in California or wherever they are, but if I had my choice, I'd rather this one go somewhere close just in case it gets returned because if it gets returned, i got to pay the return shipping. So that's oftentimes a benefit to doing calculated shipping. There's pluses and minuses to doing flat rate and all kinds of stuff like that. I have a video about that as well. Anyway, 
dollars plus shipping on that one paid a buck for it and it did take a little time to clean almost didn't buy it i probably put 10 minutes into cleaning it five minutes into pictures and listing and i'll put you know a few minutes two three four minutes into shipping it so 20 minutes all in paid a dollar make 24 it's definitely worth my time i'll make like 18 dollars profit last one in here is an item i've sold before and it can't it did come back to me. They canceled the order before I ever shipped it. At least I think that's what happened. I can't remember. That's why it's in here. Because I had already brought it in here. And you've heard me talk about it before. The Brett Favre Jet Jersey. Number four. That was my number back in the day. Of course, I didn't wear it because of Brett Favre. I wore it because of Lou Gehrig and Lenny Dykstra, of all people. I loved Lenny Dykstra. And I was a leadoff hitter. So, there you go. I wasn't left-handed, though. I don't think I told you what that sold for. If I didn't, $10.95 plus shipping. Hey, first item is right here. Been sitting here for a long time. I need to just change this shelf up anyways. Reagan occasionally goes into the cabin in there and moves stuff around and puts stuff she likes up on there. Maybe I need to have her come and do that. So, a little dusty even. This is Zach Duke right here. Played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Lynchburg Hillcats. A little, uh... Fairly soft throwing lefty. And that reminds me of one. By the way, this sold on clearance on sale. I paid a dollar for it. And it sold for $9.66 plus shipping. Kind of a pain in the butt. Hey, I did a video on how to ship bobbleheads when you don't have the box. I occasionally keep the boxes up there, but I don't think I have this box at all. Not all bobbleheads sell, so you better you know pay attention out there and, and grab the right one. Some are incredible money. But this was number 34. No one rhymes a number. Let me answer one of the questions that I said was somewhat personal. And that was a baseball question. You, you ever coach anybody in the big leagues? And the answer is no. Not yet anyway. So I do have a few players that I coach that are in the college level playing now. A couple at, played minor league ball, are playing minor league ball, and could possibly get to the big leagues. But I have not coached any big leaguers. Played against many big leaguers. Played with many big leaguers. Um Played in California. I've mentioned Ukaipa. It's a little baseball hotbed, and we uh, we were pretty good. So we we had some big leaguers come out of that high school, bunches of them. So a couple of them play with us. So any rate, there you go. There's my rambling on about myself, which you don't care about. So there you go, Zach Duke. Mary Kay eyeliners, ten ninety five plus shipping on these. Olive, I think. This one I am glad it's gone, and we made like a dollar twenty on it. <laughs> <laughs> sold for 681 or something like that on clearance getting it out the door and i have two of these you know when you buy these lots like this some of them are good some of them make good money but you usually buy them in big lots they're usually not standalones out there although you do see those from time to time and so a lot of them are great and then some of them end up being like this and you're like do i even want to list it and i listed it but it didn't sell for what i wanted to get for it but we'll make a buck or two and it's out the door one in a man today going to Julie. So, Julie, congrats for getting this over there on CommonwealthPicker.com. One a day until they're, uh, until the, the new batch of 50 are gone. I think we're down to maybe 38 or so. And I had somebody ask me that question on eBay the other day, and I mentioned this too. I can't respond and say, hey, go to this website and buy this for me on an eBay message. So, there you go. It's on CommonwealthPicker.com. The other question I was going to answer today came from Jerry and Jenny. This was on Instagram. Occasionally, y'all, I can get to my Instagrams, okay? I cannot get to all my emails. As hard as I try, I can't catch up with those. Even the eBay messages are, are kind of hard to catch up with. So, hey, I have a question. What do you do when a person asks to send an item back, but you had listed it as is? And they say they listed it as is in the description. That was my question back to them. I put not working as is in the description. But that was the only place that it was, I believe. So here we go. It just assume that people don't read everything when they buy things. So just to be safe, in certain categories, they offer as is as a condition. And definitely if it's offered, put it as is condition. eBay's gonna back you up on that. If the only place it appears is in the description, you may have a hard time. So I need a little feedback from y'all out there, what you do for those categories that don't have as is. A safe bet is to put it in the title, put it in the description, and on top of that, after it's bought, send them a quick message really quick and say, hey, this is as is, just wanna make sure you're on board with this so we don't have any you know, miscommunication later. 
and that'll usually take care of it. So thank you for the question. Hopefully that helps. All right, we will go back outside for something, I'm sure. I don't think I have a homeschool hustler store sale unless something sells between now and when Turner gets home. <laughs> and then you'll have Turner out there. If not, Reagan will say thanks to one or two people. And I wanted to show you that paper roller. People have been asking questions about that. Maybe we'll do that with Reagan when she uh, gives her thank you. So if not, or even if we do, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate you. hope your sales are growing great, and we'll see you next time. All right, Reagan's got two sales today. What do you got? Rich got Commonwealth Picker shirt and Commonwealth Flipper sticker. And Jeff got the Animog. And got the Animog. So thank you. So both of you guys left a uh, message for us, but mm -hmm. I think one of them's Cheesehead Flipper. But they asked me a question. So I'm going to let you get out of here because I know you've had a long day today. And then I'm going to package these up for you today, okay? And I'm going to answer their question, all right? Hey, but let me show them one more thing real quick because I promised them I would. What do you think of this paper roll? Do you think this is a better idea? Yes. I do too. Look at how big this thing is. So we decided to go there. I've had a lot of viewers for a while to say stop paying, whatever. And it's not that much cheaper, but it is about 25% cheaper to do it this way as for the bulk that we have paper. Somebody asked me where we got this and I bought it off of eBay. Got a great deal on it. So anyway, 24 inches. So I love this thing, the fillers. I used to do the newspaper thing, and it was a pain in the butt, so we don't do that anymore. So there you go. Oh, we do have a link to it, of course. Shameless plug. Somewhere in there. Amazon, I think, or eBay. I can't remember. The Amazon page, I think, is where it is. Thanks. Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthThicker.com. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Rich, just want to say thank you for your kind words, and best of luck to your new reselling ventures. But Jeff here had a question, and he's, I think it's Jeff anyways. Love your vids and history lessons. <laughs> Kids are always a highlight as well. If you get a chance, check out my little channel, Cheesehead Flipper. So I will definitely do that. If it's not too personal, and if it is, don't worry about it. I've always been curious with you being a school teacher why you decided to homeschool your kids. I'm surprised nobody's asked that before. My parents were both teachers at my school, and I'll admit I had some unique complications. That's not why. But there is a reason. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm planning a video to answer questions that I never answer um, and touchy questions, maybe kind of stuff. So I'm going to answer that one on a future video. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate it. And we hope that Enema gets things moving for you.